I'm still unsure of what exactly death is. Should I explain to you what I think happens after you die? Do you want to know? Do you want to know what I think happens after you die? From my life experience and from from what I've heard in life and from everything I gathered? God, no. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I'll, everybody's entitled to have their own opinion, of course. And I'm, I, I would be glad to hear your opinion as well, of course. But let me tell you what I think first, okay? So no matter what you believe in, if you believe in heaven, if you believe nothing happens, if you believe you get reborn, whatever you believe in, I respect that and, and it doesn't matter. But... Uh, or yeah, you can. We, nobody knows, so nobody could be. We don't know who's right or who's wrong. But I saw, you know, uh, Alan Watts talking about what happens after you die, and he said this. He said like, but what happens before before you're born? Do you remember what happened before you were born? No, you don't remember because it was just all black, and then you just came to life. You know, you don't know what happened before you were born. So the logical thing is probably that that uh, there was there's nothing after you die because there was nothing before we were born and maybe we can't just grasp what what it was maybe we can't just remember what it was i don't know but i think about it this way and this is what i choose to believe in you can choose to believe in whatever you want but i choose to believe in uh uh kind of reincarnation but only for a point i believe in heaven and i believe in reincarnation so so I think that you are on this earth several times, most likely, and you're on this earth to learn. And and every life you're given, you're learning something new and you get a new lesson. That's what I choose to believe because you can choose to believe whatever. And I like to believe that because it makes life more interesting for me. So I think you're on this earth to learn as much as possible about life and to learn your lessons. And when you die, you are reborn and you learn another lesson. And some people only have one life and they learn everything, but I probably unlikely, but I think most people have several lives and they learn their lessons until they are completely, fully learn everything and then they get to go to heaven. That's what I choose to believe. And I think that, I think that, um, that's why sometimes when we come across people and sometimes we meet people in life, they have old souls. If you have, have you, you have heard this before, right? Because, or you have sensed that with some people. Some people used to have old souls. Some people used to are so, so much smarter than others. And I feel like maybe they're very close to the end and very close to going to heaven. And some people have just very curious and dumb souls and they're probably living their first life or something like that, you know? I think it's, I think uh, it's very, I think that's a very cozy thing to believe in. And you know what? You can believe in whatever you want to believe in because we don't know what's going to happen. And I think we should respect whatever, whatever anyone chooses to believe in. But uh, it's, I think it's cozy and interesting and it makes life more interesting to have a belief like that. So that's what I believe. And... Uh, yeah, and I, how am I meant to learn a lesson if I don't remember my previous lesson though? Because, because you know it inside, Burn, that's what I mean, you know it inside, uh, because that's what I mean with old souls, so they've lived several times, so they kind of used to know some things, you know, some people are used uh, do take more stupid decisions than others and some people don't, you know, go a different route but it's because they already did, did another route or they haven't done any routes before. You know, you have you ever met an old soul that it feels like they just, they just understand? They just feel like they understand stuff. You must be in your first life then. That's very mean to say. I don't think I'm on... I don't know. I don't know. I like to say that I'm a young soul but someone told me that I was... Someone told me that I talk like an old soul and that makes me happy. Yeah, I said to Melina, I feel like she's an old soul because I feel because she's so young, I still feel like she's very smart. Yeah. How can heaven exist if it is reincarnation? So what I tried to explain was that I feel like I, I, I used to believe that you live several lives until you learned all the lessons that you need to learn 
and when you when you learned everything you move on and you go to heaven and i believe that everybody goes to heaven i think everybody goes to heaven but maybe some people have more lives than others and i know for a fact i think people who follow buddhism they do they they try to learn everything in one life to, so they can go to heaven immediately and i don't know i don't think that's necessary just follow i just follow my instincts but that's what i do now I don't think there's a hell. I don't think there's a hell. Maybe you just hit your head a lot in your previous life. No. One, you don't choose your beliefs. Two, what you believe doesn't make it true. Three, reality doesn't change because you believe. True, but I think you choose your beliefs. Definitely I get to choose what I believe in. But if there's no certain answer to something, I choose what I believe in. And I understand the people who don't... See, I think the earth is round, definitely, but I understand the people who say the earth is flat because there's no way to actually prove it with words. Like, yeah, I can say that the, the Greeks measured the, shadow, the, the shadows of big rods long distance apart. In Egypt, I can say that that happened, but I can't prove it. I wasn't there. I don't know that they're speaking the truth. You know, I've never been to space. I haven't seen the earth. But, but uh, I, yeah, I choose to believe that the earth is round anyway. I guess that's different. It's, 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 it's a, you can, you're able to prove that the earth is round in more ways than you're able to prove <laughs> reincarnation and old souls and heaven and is a thing and you know I think we grow and soul and age and we die and when we die we go from heaven down to earth again that's also cute That's so mean. Why are people so mean to me today? I feel like last time I talked about this, people were really nice. I think that I think it's gonna take longer for you to deliver lol than it's gonna take for me. Mm -hmm. I love this new Candleland where she doesn't pretend to be dumb anymore. I don't. I never. I never pretended to be dumb. I never pretended to be dumb. Goddammit! I was just uh, trying to be more entertaining. I think it's you. Men när själen är klar med att lära sig det den ska på jorden så går den vidare i universum. Tror det finns ljusa världar och mörka världar, där av light och darkness. I don't think so. Maybe even there. Okay, that's an interesting way to think. Maybe I could translate that. When the when the soul is done with learning what it will at earth, it it wanders in universe and there is some bright worlds and some dark worlds. That's hence lightness and darkness or light and darkness. I don't know. I don't know. I choose to believe that there's only a positive heaven because yeah, a kingdom, you know, I, I want to believe that. I am his old Pepega candle and you're so sweet for calling me not Pepega. No, I'm from North Sweden. I'm in heaven every day when I get to hang out with you. Yeah, see, even though we don't know if when we live a certain amount of lives and we, we have learned everything we will on earth and we go to heaven, you know, even though we can't know that, so we should take everything, we should take every moment we get on this earth to try to uh, have as much fun and have as much pleasure as possible on, on this earth and try to be as kind and make it pleasurable for other people too. We should really, we should really do that, I feel. So you believe that we are not alone in the universe? Oh, that's an entire different story though. That's an entire different thing to talk about. I believe that we are, I, I believe that uh, we're probably not alone in the universe, but how are you supposed to know that? Because, because, um, how do we know? So there's so tiny things, like the, the tiniest thing that we've been able to measure is like, it's like a thousand million times smaller than a grain of sand, you know? Or I don't know how many, I, I just made that number up, but it's so significantly smaller than a little so, like sand grain, you know? And also we know how big stuff can be in the universe. We know if you zoom out and you see planets that are like a million times bigger than the earth, 
and stuff goes from this small to that big and everything has different type of gravities and everything has different type of you know time travels different depending on de depending on different uh, aspects i don't know really i can't really explain what but what oh hey thank you ej each underscore oh three donated five dollars. Thank you for the five dollars. MG Haven watch your stream. So now I got distracted. Time, well. Damn it. But yeah, uh, how do we know? Uh, thank you, EJ. But yeah, let me continue. How do we know that that uh, something something added? Like, how do we know that we're not alone in the universe? How do we know that we're alone? I think that something. Fuck! Now I got distracted. Some things. Uh, you don't know how fast time travels or how slow time travels at certain places or for these pieces. So our lifetime, our entire lifetime could be a second for another species or our entire lifetime could be, uh, you know, their lifetime could be a second for us. Or ex also if you think about like how big or small it is, like what are the odds that someone is gonna be exactly in our time, like having our time zone at time and also our, size because something could be a million times bigger than us and something could be a million times smaller than us you understand what i'm saying so what and also what are the odds that we're going to be able to communicate and also we heard about dimensions what is the odds that someone is in our dimension i don't i don't know because life was created right here with these under these circumstances maybe that speaks for uh, being available to create other life because something, because there's a lot of space with our circumstances, but I don't know. I think the odds that something is created like we are is very small, and I don't think it's very common that it's created close to us. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like the interstellar when we were on the wave planet. Yeah, it's like that. It's like that, exactly. When the sun blows up in two billion years, what happens then? Maybe a restart. I don't know. I saw something on YouTube. It was it was called um, it was what was that video called? Like history of the universe or the future of the universe or something. The video I'm talking about is called a time lapse of the future, and uh, not only does it show like a prediction of what's happening, what's gonna happen in the space in the future, but it also shows how extremely big things can be. And we know on Earth how extremely small things can be, and this video is showing how extremely big things can be. So there's probably a lot of sizes we can't even imagine, you know? We can probably, there's probably a such a bigger scale and such a smaller scale that we can't even imagine. So. What I'm trying to say here in this clip is, what is the odds that we're ever gonna occur or come across someone that are exactly our size in space? And what is the odds that we are also going to come across someone who lives in this, uh, with the same understanding of time as we do? I feel like the odds of us crossing each other isn't very big, except uh, if it is, like I said, the, the circumstances we have around Earth and the, the planets close to us maybe have the same kind of circumstances as we do and that they can create life like us and it could be similar. But other than that, I don't see how, it's, how it should be life, how we are going to ever come across other life. I don't, I don't really believe in aliens, I guess, but I like to believe. But thanks for watching this little video. Okay, see you later. Kisses.